because sometimes we have a moment of real clarity, don't we? And uh, that happened for me today. I was chatting to Jake and he was commenting on how he liked the sound of the new um, Origin Effects Halcyon pedal. I did a demo of it earlier. And it occurred to me that I had a few other tube screamer pedals and I thought, what would the ultimate pedal board be? And of course the ultimate pedal board and what we've all dreamed of doing is just having a board of four tube screamer derived overdrive pedals, right? That's uh, the ultimate, I think. Um, so I've decided to, to give that a try. I've got a little loop, looper pedal here from Harley Benton. And what this will enable me to do is to stack my flavors of tube screamer as well. Um, I don't know, this might actually sound fine. It might sound awful. Let's, um, let's find out together. In loop one, we have the TS-10. So here's my clean tone. So kind of edge of breakup sort of stuff on the edge of uh, breaking up a marriage. So TS-10. Uh I think one of my favorite tube screamers. Then we've got the Antares from Tate FX, a small UK builder, a lovely guy, Stuart. We've got this clean blend here, which um, we can use to kind of bring in some clarity. And then we've got the overhyped Vemiram TSV808, um, which sounds like this. And then the, the new edition. can do is I can combine these flavors of uh, Tube Screamer combine all of them. I've just learned a lesson and that is that it's like Hooke's law of elasticity, right? Yeah, you add one tube screamer to another tube screamer and what you get is a better tone. And then beyond that, we get an elastic breaking point where if you add another tube screamer on top of that, you just get into a realm of disaster. And that's obvious. As much as this started off as a joke, I, I could totally see that there could very much be a use for combining more than one of the same type of circuit. Thinking of Andy Timmons, for example, he combines two memory man delay pedals to get kind of a, an effect from that. Could we also not use two of the same types of drive pedal 
to get that kind of game staging thing going on. There's no reason why you couldn't. If you like the way that a tube screamer sounds, you know, why would you have to pair it with uh, an inferior pedal? Let's be fair, all non-tube screamers are inferior. <laughs> uh, so we could just use some variations of tube screamers, right? I'd, I'd, that could be a thing. Let's just take the gain back on all of these. So now we should be in a situation where things are kind of Now we can combine And if I turn off the compressor that I've got at the start of my chain in the Helix.
me know your thoughts. If you could build a board out of just one variation of a circuit, which would it be? Is this a terrible idea or could this be a semi stroke of genius? I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, <laughs> that's yielded more interesting results than I expected, to be quite honest with you. You'd think like, you know, as tube screamers, they're going to sound roughly the same. But if you set them up, you know, with the knobs in different positions and stuff, you can get some really interesting flavours, I think. And they all have a slightly different voice. Um, yeah. Weird, isn't it?